Welcome once again to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Andre Riendo of Bloomfield. Hello, beloved ones. I'm so happy to be with you today by radio and the sovereignty of our good God. This week, I'd like to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, the unity of the body of Christ. I am absolutely convinced that it's in unity that we experience foretastes of the kingdom of heaven here and now on earth. And I make this point based on many passages of scripture, but especially Psalm 133, which we'll be looking at in detail this week. Now, before we look at the individual verses of this psalm, I think it's important that we consider the context. You never want to interpret a passage of scripture without considering the context. And of course, this psalm is one of the 150 songs that are within the compilation known as the Book of Psalms. These were the songs of Israel. They were written by numerous authors over 900 years and compiled into a book long before the time of Jesus. Psalm 133 is part of what's called the Psalms of Ascent. These are 15 psalms that run from Psalm 120 to Psalm 134. And they most likely were sung by Jews as they made their annual pilgrimages up to Jerusalem, up to worshiping the living God in his house with his people. So I want you to picture this for a minute. Picture Mary and Joseph and Jesus singing these psalms with all these other pilgrims when they'd make their way up to Jerusalem. Picture Jesus and his disciples singing these psalms when they too made their way into what we call the triumphal entry. These are pilgrim songs. And frankly, they remind me a little bit of that old U2 song. I still haven't found what I'm looking for because that's kind of what they're saying. We haven't quite found heaven on earth yet, but we're not giving up. And we know where the answer lies, with God, in his house, in his presence, together. And that's the background of this psalm. Picture all of these pilgrims coming on long family road trips and arriving in dusty Jerusalem. And upon getting there, they see Different people from every tribe and every region and every tongue throughout Palestine. Can you see it in your mind's eyes? Just what what an amazing thing this would have been. What a picture of unity. A Benjamite man and a woman from Issachar next to an Egyptian convert bowing down to Yahweh, Israel's God, the one true God. Some were singing with Galilean accents and others with the sound of southern Judah. Unity. Imagine what it must have been like for a Jew coming from this, maybe a tiny desert village, and then coming up, and as he does, seeing more and more people, and finally, as he's making this ascent, right there at the city, it's just crowded with all kinds of different people singing the words to the Psalms. And in particular, I'm sure it spoke very deeply to them when they would sing the words to Psalm 133, how good And pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It's like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. It's as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. You know, I remember feeling this sense of unity with with different brothers when I attended the Promise Keepers Million Man March in Washington, D.C., oh, back 20 years ago now. It was awesome to see so many men singing praise to our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, white men, black men, Pentecostals, fundamentalists, Latinos, Asians, Episcopalians, and Baptists, And on and on, all joining together as one people. It was a foretaste of heaven on earth. It was Psalm 133 in action. This week, we're going to consider the power of these verses. Now, the cliche says that we're better together, but frankly, the cliche is true. And tomorrow, we'll see how good it is to live together in unity with our brothers and sisters in Christ. You've been listening to Pastor Andre Riendo of Bloomfield, our speaker for this week on Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.